Hi everyone. My name is Shasta Liddell and I am coming here to teach you how to do an induction model lesson. Now, my induction model lesson is going to be on speed, velocity, and acceleration. Now, before we get into an inductive model lesson, let's figure out what it is. So, to discuss it, we're going to talk about three factors first. Those three, three factors are going to be content, process, and product. The content is going to be visual, auditory, and kinesthetic so that you can meet the needs of all learners. The process is going to optimize divergent learners, which are learners that create more than one way to solve a problem, or convergent learners, which it includes logic, but it's normally one way to solve a problem. And then we get to the product. And this is going to include student application and assessment. Now, through the planning, implementing, and assessing phases, teachers should always incorporate technology. My lesson is going to have five components. These five components are going to include the lesson introduction, divergent phase, convergent phase, closure, and application. And then my own personal, I'm going to include assessment. Now remember, my lesson is on speed, velocity, and acceleration. So for those of you who are not familiar with the science terms or physics, speed is going to include distance and time, so how far and how long. Velocity is going to include speed and direction, how far, how long, and which way are you going? And then acceleration is going to be any change in velocity, where you speed up, slow down, turn right, turn left, any change, okay? Now, my lesson introduction is going to include a PowerPoint presentation with a do now or a bell ringer, as some other people may call it, with the content from, with content from a previous lesson. Okay, so I do it immediately so the students can come in and go ahead and get started on their work. As soon as the target bell rings, you got five minutes. Five minutes. All right, so when they get finished with that, in five minutes when the timer goes off, we're going to use our clickers, and we're going to click, 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 get our answers, and then we're going to clear up any misconceptions before we go into our lesson. All right, next what I'll do is on the PowerPoint, I'll have some pictures, and I'm going to scaffold the students with different pictures, and they're going to be associated with those three terms, speed, velocity, and acceleration. Then, after we get finished talking about those different things and seeing how they relate to their lives or how they have any type of prior knowledge to it, then we're going to enter into the divergent phase. During the divergent phase, I'm going to introduce the vocabulary through BrainPop. Now, you can go to BrainPop.com and you can get those free videos where students are introduced to concepts and it's with all different content, not just science. So they have all different concepts and they animate it so that students can learn it on a more kid-friendly level, okay? So with my brain pop, I always give my students something to do so they're just not sitting there and falling asleep and playing on their phones or something like that. No, you're going to have Cornell notes and you're going to follow along with these Cornell notes, which I'll go ahead and issue where you have a couple of sentences to begin and then they have to finish the rest of the sentence and then we'll go over it and we'll do like the little mini quiz at the end. Then we're going to go into the conversion phase. During this phase, students will do a mini lab and they will use a hover puck, which is like a device that uses air to move. The air starts blowing through it with batteries, of course, and it starts to move. So now we're going to discuss how it's moving, why it's moving, and we're going to include that when we talk about speed, velocity, and acceleration. So they use a hover puck. And I have the I have the directions uh, for them already. They have a timer, which is going to include the time. They have a meter stick, which is going to represent the distance, and a hover puck launcher, which kind of helps them with launching it, so it can kind of go in a, in the direction that they need it to go into instead of all over the place like kids do. Okay. So then, once they do that, they'll be able to actually learn by doing with these concepts. All right. Then we're going to get to the closure. All right, so during this time, students will complete their lab report and they'll be responsible to do a Venn diagram. 
Um, on their Venn diagram, they'll have to uh, list the terms, definition in their own words, and a picture that represents it. After they get finished with that, they're going to present what they have uh, created and with their Venn diagram with using uh, Instagram. So they'll create Instagram posts and it's like, yay, I did Instagram. And then they'll be explaining the concepts in their own words. All right, the last phase is going to be application where the student is going to play a teacher created Jeopardy game. And um, it's probably only gonna be about five to 10 questions uh, based on how much time that we have just to kind of keep familiarizing them with the terms. And then my final favorite is going to be assessment. So I'll give them about five scenario questions pertaining to those uh, three concepts, speed, velocity, and acceleration. And then they'll have to answer with their clickers and then we'll go over it so we can clear any misconceptions and then they'll be dismissed. So hopefully I was able to teach you a lot about the induction model. And thank you.